to my channel. As you can tell by the title today, I am going to review the new makeup line by Rihanna Fenty Beauty. I just got everything in the mail. I ordered it at Sephora, well, the French Sephora on a Thursday, the day it was released, and I have everything here. Well, not everything. I did not order the like the very popular highlighter, the yellow, almost green one. To be honest, uh, the day it was released and I was looking at the highlighter, it just didn't do anything for me. And I was watching YouTube tutorials or YouTube reviews about the highlighter and I just do not like the color. It is too yellow. I don't like that. So that's why I didn't order that one. I do have another highlighter, the... Uh, mean Money and Hustler Baby, that's what I got. And I have her brushes, uh, Beauty Blender, Primer, Powder and Foundation. For foundation, I have uh, 350 and 300 because um, I didn't know which shade was going to be good for me. I don't have a Sephora, so I wasn't able to test it out. I knew that this was going to be too light, this was going to be too dark, so I could mix those two together. So yeah, that's it. Let's keep it short, even though this isn't short anymore, but let's jump right into the video because I cannot wait. Okay, well, let's put this like so. Okay, so I'm starting off with the instant, instant what? Instant retouch primer, and I'm taking about, hello? Is that enough? Let's do a little bit more. It smells like nothing. Oh, by the way, I did apply moisturizer and my eyebrows, of course, but don't wake up. Well, that's not nice. Oh, it does have a smell. It smells like... I don't know. It smells good. Oh, this feels tacky. I like that. Very hydrated. Okay, that feels good. I don't know if it is going to, like, you know, minimize my pores, but it does feel good. It reminds me of the, um, uh, the Too Faced Hangover Primer. It kind of has the same feeling to it, a little bit sticky. We'll see how this will work. Okay, so I have her foundation brush and I'm going to quickly mix the two foundations I have together and then apply it. Um, on the back of the bottle it says shake well, so let's give it a little shake. Okay, 300 is definitely too light. I think this is more of a say NC35, NC37, too light for me and then um, 350 is obviously too dark, it is too orange, oh this is runny, okay gotta be careful with that. Um, so let me see what happens if I mix these two together. I don't know if this is going to be too light but that is okay because I do have a little bit of the darker one on my hand, so I can always apply that. Okay, on my face right now, it just looks a bit too orange, but we'll see what happens if I blend it out. Oh, I actually like this brush. It's kind of hard, but this. Okay, so before you apply this foundation keep in mind that it dries extremely quickly because i can really tell a difference between this side of my face and that side it, this was a little bit harder to blend but okay let's see oh it's kind of drying hmm. i don't know how i feel about that okay let's blend it down the neck a little bit because i can tell that there is a difference between my neck and my face. This is very matte. I don't know if I like this. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Okay, you gotta work very, 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 very quickly because holy guacamole. I don't know. It does look good on my face, but I don't have dry skin, but I don't know. It feels so dry on my skin. I'm, I did apply a lot of moisturizer. I have everything on my face. 
you know what let's move on because i i don't know what to say about this foundation it does look good it doesn't feel good so you know let's do the rest of the products and we'll see how i think about this after i don't know like 30 or 40 minutes so okay so i got the three um what is it actually i don't know what it's called but oh yeah the match sticks i have the shade caramel truffle and a rum, Ooh, rum. and the concealer shade is caramel so let's apply this By the way, I had 10 in 300, so because medium was going to be too light, I think, so I got 10, but... Um. Okay, you know what? Before I'm going to say anything, let's just blend it out. This is her beauty sponge, and it is damp, so let's see what happens. You know, oh, the thing is, concealer doesn't cover my dark circles and it feels so dry like what is happening i do not have dry skin keep that in mind i do not have dry skin and the concealer i don't know is it covered and everything i don't know i would go for a shade lighter because this is just exactly my skin tone um i do like the sponge this feels extremely soft i like that no, that's good. Let's move on to contouring. I'm using uh, the shade Truffle. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh, I do like this color. So I'll... Oh, I do like this. Oh, that looks beautiful. Really, really excited about it. This looks amazing. I think this color is just perfect. It is not too cool. It is not too warm. It is just a beautiful brown to shake with. So I am happily surprised with the shade Truffle. Oh, uh, that is a great product. Beautiful. When you use a beauty sponge, it's just gonna give you like this subtle contour and I really like that. Let's move over to highlighting. Uh, this is a rum and it looks like a very pretty gold shade. No, it's not. Okay, obviously uh, too dark for my skin tone. This is not gonna give me any highlight whatsoever. This sucks, you guys. This sucks. It does give me a little bit of a glow, but I like it very extreme, and this is more of a subtle glow. Uh, you know what? Let's try this one. Uh, uh, this is the color Hustler Baby. This looks like a true bulb, so um, let's see. Oh wait, I have her highlighting brush. Ooh. Okay, well, that's pretty. Okay. I'm not sure about the brush, but uh, I would suggest using this part of the brush. I don't like to use it like this or like that, but it's just because it's just going to give you like all this fallout around the cheek area, but the point of the brush is, is okay. Okay, so I also got the translucent powder. This is the white powder, and it's supposed to be um, suitable for every skin type, uh, skin type, skin tone. Just gonna blend this concealer a little bit more, and then I'm going to apply it under my eyes and the rest of my face. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the powder, not too much, because my skin already feels a bit dry, and I don't want to make it even more dry using. Powder. The powder does feel good on the skin. It is very lightweight. It is not a thick powder and I like that about this one. So that's a good thing. Um, let's take Hustler Baby uh, again and I'm just going to apply it on the bridge of my nose. Okay, I got to be honest with you. I just went upstairs. Um, I grabbed a mirror because I wanted to see how I look like in daylight because sometimes because of all these lights I have right here, I have two big uh, soft boxes. I don't know if I can give an honest opinion, but to be honest, it looked better upstairs in daylight than it does right here. Because when I look at my skin, you know, it doesn't cover your dark circles. And that's weird because 
um, not always I use orange corrector. I do have dark circles, but when I use, uh, let's say, the MAC Pro Lower Concealer or the NARS Radiant Creamy, which are my favorites, um, I don't need that, but definitely not a full coverage concealer. You know what? Let's add her lip gloss. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Um, oh, I love the taste. It's so sweet. It's just so good. That's a pretty gloss. I think there's only one because it has to be suitable for every skin tone and I think it is. This is pretty. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara because it looks so empty because I only have my face makeup and a little bit of lip gloss and then I am going in with the full review. Okay guys, so this is it. Um, <laughs> To be honest, I am a little bit disappointed. I saw so many reviews about this Fenty Beauty and almost everyone was so excited. Everyone was like, oh my God, this foundation is so bomb and this is so pretty. Like I told you earlier, it does look good on the skin. I like the way it looks, but what I do not like about it is that you have to work very, very quickly because it dries and it dries so fast. Um, I don't like that because I applied my uh, foundation how I normally do it, but still it, it was almost like a pain in the ass to let it out. But you know, if you're um, good at applying your foundation really quick, you're gonna love this foundation. So I do like it. It's not going to be my holy grail, I'm sure about that. So yeah, it's it's um, it's it's good. It's a good foundation. Let's keep it that way. The concealer, no. No, 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 I do not like the concealer. Despite the fact that it's not my color uh, because it is a little bit too dark or, you know, it's not lighter than my skin tone, that is okay, but it just does not cover my dark circles. Um, the contour stick in Truffle, amazing. Love that. I will be using that on a daily basis. It is not too extreme and I like the color. Not too cool, not too warm. Love it. Um, her primer. Yeah, I do like this one. I don't know if it's going to make my uh, foundation stay on longer, but I do like it because it reminds me of the Too Faced Hangover Primer and um, I've used that a lot of times, so big yes. The, um, oh, I almost forgot about the highlighting stick. Well, I don't think I can give an opinion about that because it's obviously not my color. I needed a shade lighter, so yeah. I don't know, but what I do like is uh, this one. I use this one because this one is more of a soft, you know, subtle highlight, which is not something for me, but this is gorgeous. This is very pretty, but also not the most blinding highlight I have seen because there are better highlighters, but it's a great highlighter. It's pretty and uh, same with the transparent powder. What I do like about this one, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. Especially because my skin feels a little bit dry right now because of the foundation, which is extremely matte. I do like this powder, so that's a big yes. And then we have, oh, her tools. Her uh, little beauty sponge, love this one. It is extremely soft, it blends out everything very, very nice. I believe this retails for 15 or 16 euros, so I think it's you know, cheaper than the original Beauty Blender, so that's a good thing. I do like her foundation brush and I also like her highlighter brush, but then I use it like this because um, this just gives you too much of a highlighter, you know what I mean? It's, it's too big. Um, maybe you can do that, but then you only have to apply highlighter on the top of it, you know what I mean? Like, like so, because I just dipped it in like this, that's what I thought, but it doesn't really matter. It, it, it's a very nice brush. I think I will be uh, using this a lot more. So yeah, that was my review on uh, the Fenty Beauty uh, collection by Rihanna. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and if you enjoyed watching it, you know, you can give me a thumbs up. You don't have to, but it would be nice and bye-bye.